In this particular question, we are given with two different condition. The first condition says that 10 pi by 9 x tan 5 pi by 18 are in AP and second condition says that tan pi by 9 y tan 7 pi by 18 are in AP. Using both these condition, we have to prove that 2x is equal to y. You can pause the video and try to solve this question of your own. Now this particular question is a combination of trigonometry as well as the arithmetic progression. Before moving to the actual solution, we have to understand some of the important formulas, some of the important trigonometric formulas that we are going to use in this particular question. So first important formula is sin a plus b is equal to sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. This is the most common trigonometric addition formula that is used in the trigonometry. Second formula is sin a minus b is equal to sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. Similarly, cos a plus b will be equal to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b and cos a minus b will be equal to cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. These are the important formulas that you should remember before going to this particular question. Moving to our original question, we are given with two different condition and applying the arithmetic mean formulas in both the condition. In the first condition, we are given with tan pi by 9 x and tan 5 pi by 18 are in AP. So applying the arithmetic mean formula, we will get that 2x is equal to tan pi by 9 plus tan 5 pi by 18. Similarly, in the second condition, we are given with tan pi by 9 y and tan 7 pi by 18 are in AP. Applying the arithmetic mean formula, we will get that 2y is equal to tan pi by 9 plus tan 7 pi by 18. Now we will try to solve these two important results individually in two different cases. In the first case, we will try to solve 2x is equal to tan pi by 9 plus tan 5 pi by 18. So we will convert both the tan formats into sine by cos format. So we will get that this is equal to sin pi by 9 divided by cos pi by 9 plus sin 5 pi by 18 divided by cos 5 pi by 8. We will simply take the LCM by cross multiplication and we will get that sin pi by 9 into cos 5 pi by 18 plus cos pi by 9 sin 5 pi by 18 whole divided by cos pi by 9 into cos 5 pi by 18. You can clearly say that in the numerator we get the formula sin a plus b. So applying the sin addition formula we will get that sin of pi by 9 plus 5 pi by 18 whole divided by we will convert the denominator into sine format so cos theta will be equal to sine 90 minus theta so we will write it as sine pi by 2 minus pi by 9 into sine pi by 2 minus pi pi by 18 on further simplification we will get that this is equal to sine 7 pi by 18 whole divided by sine 7 pi by 18 into sine 2 pi by 9 from the numerator and denominator, we will simply cancel out sine 7 pi by 18. So we will finally get our result that is equal to cosec 2 pi by 9. So this is our first expression. Similarly, we are going to solve our second expression. So 2y is equal to tan pi by 9 plus tan 7 pi by 18. We will simply convert the tan format into sine by cos form. So we will get that sine pi by 9 divided by cos pi by 9 plus sine 7 pi by 18 divided by cos 7 pi by 18. By taking the LCM and cross multiplication, we will get that sine pi by 9 into cos 7 pi by 18 plus cos pi by 9 into 7 pi by 9 18 whole divided by cos pi by 9 into cos 7 pi by 18. As we have done in the previous case, we will similarly apply here the sine addition formula. So in the numerator, we will get that sine of pi by 9 plus 7 pi by 18. And in the denominator, here we will only convert cos 7 pi by 18 into sine form. So we will get that sine pi by 2 minus 7 pi by 18. In the next step, we are going to multiply 2 in both numerator as well as in the denominator. So we will get that 2 into sine pi by 2 whole divided by 2 into cos pi by 9 into sine pi by 9. In the numerator, you can clearly see that sin pi by 2 will be equal to 1. So we will be left out with only 2. In the denominator, if you will analyze, it is the formula of sin 2a. That is sin 2a is equal to 2 into sin a into cos a. So on further solving, we will get that 2 whole divided by sin 2 pi by 9. So that will be equal to 2 into cosec 2 pi by 9. So at last, we will analyze both the equation and we will get that 2x is equal to cosec 2 pi by 9 and 2y equal to 2 into cosec 2 pi by 9. So from both this equation, we can clearly say that 2x equal to y. Hopefully you have enjoyed this particular question. If you are left out with any of the queries, you can comment down in the comment section. If you like this video, hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further notification. Thank you very much for watching this video.